Six years ago, I was ready to quit this industry. I was already 16 years into it, but I was really at a place of frustration, immense frustration, because I'd been commoditized. I'd stood up for a meeting, people were shitting on me, and I called my business coach and asked him, hey, do you think it's actually time for me to move on? Should I just quit this business and leave? He said, look, man, I know you're good at what you do, and you know you're good at what you do, but does anybody else? And the answer was no, nobody else knew that I was any good at it. So he said, you have to change it. I don't know what the answer is, but you must change it. So the answer was creating a personal brand and pushing that personal brand using social media to accelerate it. And I didn't really know where to start, even though I was on social. So I started attending events, a Gary Vee event in particular. Some of these light bulbs started going off and I didn't have a clearly defined mission or purpose, but I knew you just gotta get started. So for two years, I started putting out content and it wasn't necessarily equating to dollars because there were some mistakes I was making and I needed to learn and I'm always still learning. It's a constant process. But what it was doing the entire time through consistency was raising my visibility. This was allowing me to be seen by more people, which when I walked into meetings, people were noticing me or they were saying, hey, I'm seeing you everywhere. I can't open up a device without your face popping up on it. I said, good, it's working. So with that visibility, it ultimately started leading to conversations and more transactions. So a big uptick in business. In fact, it's transformed my business to the point where 70 to 80% of it comes from these types of efforts. From there, it's evolved. We're doing longer form content now that I do on YouTube with a big channel where I teach financial literacy. I started being a host for the American Dream TV on their financing segment, which has been a lot of fun and doing mass media about really cool projects and stories about people and causes. But there was still something else missing. I always knew somewhere in there there's more that I need to do. And recently, this last year, I turned 45. And at that event, I said that I want my life now in the second half because it's technically halftime. If I make it to 90, which I fully intend to do, right? Anything that happens after 90, I don't envision myself running at this pace and recording too much more content. I'll probably be doing something else, God knows. But what are these next 45 years going to mean? What kind of impact am I going to have? And so I spent a bit of time trying to search and see what would create impact. Where can I have impact? Where can I actually move the needle in people's lives? One way to do that was through community. And that's what started our LFG community, specifically our society, which is a collective group of members that are all committed to the same thing, making humanity and their communities and everything outside of them better while continuing to work on themselves. The other avenue for which I knew would be a really, really strong force in helping me do this and really do it in a whole, on a whole nother level that would feed all aspects of my entrepreneurial efforts, whether it's actual business, brand, name identification, starting other things, would be to actually start a podcast. And truth be told, the idea for starting a podcast was one of my first ideas that I had. I just never got around to it. Some of it being how to actually execute. Second, I felt a little bit of imposter syndrome, like who's gonna actually want to listen to me? I feel like I still need to build up a lot more relationship capital. I need to earn that social currency and develop it so that I have great stories and the ability to leverage great guests through my efforts. So these last six years of doing content has actually prepared me much better to start a podcast than had I just gotten started with it earlier on because I now am running in different circles. I've developed and really forged and furthered so many amazing relationships with people that were not even on my radar and I wouldn't have been on their radar if it hadn't been for forging a personal brand and really making myself attention worthy. I needed to be worthy of being seen. And now that I've earned that and I continue to earn that day in and day out because the work is never done, this has allowed me to now leverage guests, leverage thought leaders and people and concepts and ideas and energies into what is called the LFG Energy Podcast. So what does somebody actually get out of listening to this podcast? Because there are some like 2 million plus podcasts out there in the world and a lot of them are in the personal growth and development space. This one, although it touches or is adjacent to that particular space or genre, also focuses really on the stories of resilience and people who've beaten the odds because the entire essence of LFG Energy is overcoming in spite of beating the odds, battling through adversity, burning the boats to take the island. There's so many stories out there that never actually get told about because everybody just talks about the finish line and maybe just quickly skims over some of those struggles or what they did to get there. This podcast, with all the individuals and even myself and the perspective I bring as a former Team USA athlete, former Team USA coach, and the thousands of athletes that I've been fortunate enough to touch and be a small part in their story, this podcast is also going to highlight the stories of entrepreneurs who were absolutely down and out, who were flat broke and you had no idea because we look at these people as either athletes, Olympians, coaches, entrepreneurs, thought leaders, and we think they're winning all the time, but they're not. They're actually losing a lot, which doesn't get talked about in order to be able to win. Those losses and those lessons 
is the focus of this podcast because that is something anybody can relate to. So one more thing, the podcast is coming out and I'm really, really excited about this and I hope it's gonna have a massive impact. I know it will, but I need your help. I need you to subscribe so that you can actually hear it and you can do this at Spotify or at Apple. It's the LFG Energy Podcast. Make sure you click on either the link below or head to either one of those podcast platforms and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on all these upcoming shows.